First Solar and Southern Company cut an alternative energy deal. Console Energy improves its natural gas play. And the Nissan Leaf is selling like hotcakes. This is the Daily Energy Report. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Energy Report for Tuesday, March the 16th. I'm Ben Lack, and I'm in Washington, D.C. today to bring you the top news coming from the energy sector. Leading off, thin film solar maker First Solar Inc. yesterday announced that it's selling a 30 megawatt power project to Southern Company and Ted Turner's Turner Renewable Energy. The plant, located in northern New Mexico, is expected to supply power to roughly 9,000 homes and will be online within a month. First Solar differentiates itself from its competitors in that its thin film cells use cadmium telluride instead of polysilicon. Console Energy Inc., which is looking to improve its natural gas reserves and its production capacity, has agreed to pay almost $3.5 billion to Dominion Resources Inc. for some of its natural gas assets. The Marcellus Shale, an exploration site that's the size of Greece that lies about 6,000 feet beneath New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio, is a key piece to the deal as the company is trying to have natural gas projects account for up to 35% of the business's total revenue. If the deal goes through, it puts Console Energy in a great position to be a major natural gas player. And finally, according to an article in Greenbeat, more than 56,000 vehicles have been pre-ordered for the all-electric Nissan LEAF. Expected to be released to the mass market in 2012, Nissan would like to sell the car to companies with large fleets like governments and taxi services. According to Businessweek, the car manufacturer hopes to have half a million units in the marketplace by 2013. The retail price is going to be around $25,000 to $35,000 with a $150 a month battery lease in the U.S. Have thoughts or comments about what you saw on today's show? Please visit dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest daily energy report. Have a great day.